hello everyone in this video let us write a swiss bus program in uh, groovy so we have started learning uh, groovy and uh, i believe the best way to learn a programming language is uh, by getting your hands uh, dirty so if you're watching this uh, video series on uh, mastering groovy i will be talking about uh, of course uh, different concepts as well apart from uh, writing the actual uh, code but most of uh, my videos will have some code involved and i believe that if you want to learn uh, a programming language the best way is uh, the best way to learn is to basically solve problems by writing code so today i want to start with uh, implementing fizzbuzz program in uh, groovy so if you don't know what uh, fizzbuzz is fizzbuzz is basically a game it is a simple game that is used to teach uh, that can be used to teach children or maybe adults uh, about uh, division so what needs to be done here is uh, let us say you have two people working or two people playing this game so they will each take turns and they will start uh, uh, counting numbers from 1 till let us say 100 and uh, what they will do they will uh, replace any number that is uh, divisible by div divisible by 3 with uh, fifth any number which is uh, divisible by 5 with birth and if there is any number which is divisible by both 3 and 5 with fifth birth so if you are playing this game the uh, the um, output or uh, if you're talking about of course a program the code but if you're talking if you're playing this game with the actual human beings uh, you can start with of course one followed by two three is divisible by three then you will say fifth four then we have five then you will say bus seven eight so on and when you reach 15 you have to say fifth bus so it is a good way to uh, basically um, um, memorize about or not really memorize but uh, if you are trying to learn divisions I think uh, when you are playing this game you have to do these calculations very quickly instantly in your mind and of course you learn about uh, these numbers that can be divided by either 3 or 5 or both and uh, of course you also memorize a lot of things and that is fine I mean that is part of learning you have to first memorize and then you develop your own logic to identify a number which can be divided by 5 or 3 or 15 not really 15 but both 3 and 5 so let us write uh, a code for this and uh, for writing code for uh, basically uh, uh, implementing the same game in uh, in uh, your uh, IntelliJ we'll be using IntelliJ today and we'll be uh, writing this uh, this program that will basically output these numbers now if you are working on intellij as i mentioned before you can uh, create uh, a file so you can uh, go to your package and uh, i talked about this package before you don't have to create a package but if you create a package it will be good to manage your code so you can create a new groovy file and you can name it as uh, fizzbus and uh, when you create this file you need to of course uh, um, I mean, um, you need to, of course, make sure that uh, uh, the file that you are using, it has the package and it will basically uh, include this package already. I mean, it will include this package for you. But if you're writing a piece of code that works on its own, it is not really importing anything from other uh, classes. We'll talk about what classes are. You can just uh, remove this package as well. So just try start writing your code. And when you talk about uh, Fizzbus, uh, we have to let us say uh, let us first limit this uh, output from uh, one to maybe hundred. So we'll not really worry about uh, you know one, I mean numbers beyond hundred. So this is our uh, range. And uh, if the um, number is uh, if the number is uh, divisible by 3 
we have to output uh, what fifth output will be fifth if the number is uh, divisible by five then the output will be um, bus and if the number is uh, divisible by three and five the output will be fifth bus so this is the the requirement this is our objective and for doing this i'll i will be using uh, a loop so in your uh, um, i mean if you're talking about um, groovy you can have loops so first thing that we need to do we need to basically uh, find a way to print numbers so let us first print numbers from 1 to 100 and then we'll of course add some logic so we'll be using a for loop and uh, for loop i mean don't really worry massively about uh, what exactly is a for loop but uh, it is a way to uh, do something multiple times until a condition is true so we will be starting with one and i'm using this uh, variable called i you can use a b c d whatever you want and you don't even have to uh, declare this variable so you can just say for i is equal to one and we want to do this until i is either less than or equal to 100 so as long as the i is less than 100 or equal to 100 as long as this condition is true the loop will run and since we are trying to create a loop we also have to define this increment so we want uh, this uh, uh, this loop to go from 1 all the way to 100 but we have to define uh, uh, by how many numbers we want to increment so the increment is uh, i plus plus which is nothing but uh, let me just also write it in a different way you can also say i is equal to i plus one so this is basically the increment but uh, if you if you say i plus plus this is much simpler and neat neat a way to uh, define your increment so you can say i plus plus and uh, if you just say print i you have this piece of code that will uh, now print uh, numbers and to test this we can uh, run it and it will uh, hopefully print uh, the numbers from 1 all the way to 100 so okay so i think uh, something went horribly wrong here let me just check my okay so no we have these numbers and if you can see here we can uh, we have these numbers like one two three four five six seven eight all the way to 200 and uh, this doesn't look uh, really good because uh, we don't really have any space in between or rather uh, we can also do something like this just to have some space in between or maybe a comma so we um so it looks good basically so if you try to run it again hopefully this will look uh, much better and uh, we'll have some something in between those numbers so let us wait for it to finish and uh, we have these numbers and of course uh, we have a comma at the very end so if you are trying to code for the very first time uh, i'm sure uh, you can uh, identify some challenges that you might face if, if you are trying to uh, code but this is how you will learn so we now have a way to print numbers but uh, uh, this is all about the loop so we have the first requirement where we are trying to print something from 1 to 100 so this is done we can uh, probably move on to the next bit which is uh, if the number is uh, divisible by 3 then uh, output face otherwise output 5 and uh, if the number is divisible by both then output fizz bus so let us add let us add some logic to this piece of code and uh, for finding out if your uh, number is uh, divisible by 3 or 5 you can use this uh, percentage sign so this percentage sign is basically um, uh, it is basically called as modulus and uh, if 3 or if uh, let us say 3 is uh, divisible by 3 or if uh, 9 is uh, divisible by 3 then you will get the output as uh, 0 so basically if you divide two numbers you get a remainder 
and uh, if the remainder is zero, uh, if the remainder is zero, then it means that the number is uh, divisible. Simple math, but uh, uh, for doing this in your uh, code, you can use percentage. And what I am trying to do here is I am trying to print something when uh, a number is uh, divisible by three. So I can simply say print i, and uh, if this condition is true, then uh, it will print that number. So let us say if you are talking about 3 or maybe uh, 6, then it will be printed here separately. But we don't really want, want, want to print the number, we want to pr print uh, fizz. At the same time, you can uh, also do the same thing for 5. Let us say uh, you want to check for 5. You can say fizz buzz. And l l let us uh, keep it like this. And I'll probably remove uh, these two lines because uh, we already are printing something on the screen. And uh, we can now quickly run this just to see if uh, we are on the right track, whether the code is working. And this is, I think, you should also do if you're writing uh, some code. You should try to, uh, you know, I mean, make sure that you're not really making a massive error. So just keep on running it uh, if you if you want. So you can see here that we have something printed. I might print uh, the whole line. So if I do print ln, it will uh, print it uh, in a different manner. So now you have learned something new today, which is uh, using print ln. So let us wait for it to print. So now you can see that we have something printed very neatly. Uh, in a separate line. Now we are missing the actual numbers and uh, what we can do here is we can also add uh, one more condition that else if both the conditions are true, both uh, i is uh, divisible by 3 and 5, then print fizzbus. So let me just do this. And if you are trying to check for two conditions, you can use, uh, so basically we have to do and here. but uh, for doing it in uh, Groovy, you need to use uh, emphasis uh, and uh, double and ampersand sign, and you can uh, uh, you can then use the second condition, which is the five. So ampersand sign or double and is something that you can use for for basically and where you, where both the conditions must be true. So this piece of code is not really great. I'm uh, going to tell you what exactly is wrong here but uh, uh, this this is how you will learn by solving problems differently in a in more efficient manner and also troubleshooting uh, as you are writing code so we have uh, three conditions fizz bus and of course uh, fizz bus uh, but we also have to print the number the actual number which is if none of the condition is true then we have to print uh, basically just the number itself. So let us say print ln and i. So let us see, uh, and by the way, if you are trying to follow the same thing, if you are trying to use the same code, let me know if I'm doing any mistake and try to also run it. So let us uh, run this piece of code and uh, we'll uh, figure out and we'll probably see if uh, we are on the right track or not. So let us wait for it to finish. And by the way, I'm using the uh, presenter mode in uh, IntelliJ and uh, it will actually give you more space to uh, focus on the code. So we can see here that we are, I think, uh, quite near to what we want to do eventually. We can see here that for three, we have fizz, for five, we have buzz. For 15, we just have fizz. So basically what is happening is, if you look at the piece of code here, uh, 15 is divisible by three, and it will uh, print uh, fizz, and uh, that is it. Uh, so to, to fix this problem, what we can do here is, we can uh, move this particular piece of code uh, on top. So let us first check for fizzbus, and uh, we can start with if, then uh, we can type here else. So basically we have the first condition which is if 
both the numbers are divisible or if if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 then just display face bus then worry about the other aspects the other uh, two conditions and uh, now let us run this piece of code so we are doing uh, troubleshooting on the go and we are trying to learn different things and uh, if we if we try to run this let us see if we are able to fix the problem so this looks quite promising so we have one two three uh which is phase four five which is birth six is again phase i want to see for 15 which is phase birth uh 30 is also phase birth 45 is also phase birth and i think this looks good so i can uh, tell you straight away that this piece of code works however we can definitely improve it so i will be talking about uh, i want to talk about other things that you can do with this uh, piece of code uh, to basically improve this uh, to basically improve this uh, code further because what if you get one more requirement in future to also check for maybe one more number if the number is uh, divisible by let us say four or maybe six so you can of course add more conditions but uh, this piece of code is definitely something that uh, uh, will consume a lot of lines and uh, you can definitely improve it further however uh, that was not the intention today my intention today was uh, to make sure that you start writing code straight away so we are learning ruby and we will be talking about the fundamentals but today we actually learned few things we learned about uh, for loop and we talked about what is a loop so loop is nothing but uh, something that you will do multiple times uh, as long as the condition is true we also learned about uh, if statements conditions where within this for loop for each and every number uh, we are checking for something and uh, based on that we will uh, print phase buzz or buzz or maybe phase uh, we also learned about uh, print ln and uh, print so uh, now you know the difference uh, uh, in uh, these two different uh, print uh, that you can do and uh, what else we learned we will also learned about uh, modulus we also learned about uh, checking for a condition using double equal to so if you are trying to check for something in a in your if statement you need to use double equal to and if you want to uh, add multiple conditions you can use ampersand which is nothing but double and so we actually learned quite a lot of, lot of things today and these things will definitely be beneficial if you have no previous experience uh, writing code in any language then i'm sure today you learned something uh, that you can uh, use a lot and these are the basics of learning a language however and uh, as i mentioned before this piece of code is not efficient not efficient at all so if you are trying to also write the same piece of code please go ahead do it but at the same time uh, think about how it can be improved further basically we want to make sure that this piece of code is something that uh, uh, we can scale up we can add more features uh, in future and it should be easier for anyone to understand what is happening at the same time uh, we also need to make sure we also need to validate whether this piece of code is working by writing some test cases for it so we will be doing those things in uh, in uh, upcoming uh, videos and uh, that is all i wanted to cover today so i hope you learned something uh, new today and you found this video useful thank you very much